Hey guys, I'm going to be unboxing the ProGrade Digital Dual Slot SD Card Reader. It's a really interesting product to speed up your workflow. If you do use SD cards, it can transfer up to two SD cards simultaneously without bottlenecking the speeds. So if you're using SD cards like so, this uh, transfers up to 80 megabits per second. If you're using something faster, we're going to be looking at that in another video where I have some of ProGrade's ProGrade Digital's faster SD cards um, and I'll be running a few tests on that as well. So let's check what's inside the box. Got the phone, got the instructions. Here we go. It comes the main thing. We got the SD card reader. As you can see, there is two SD card slots just there. And the back is a USB-C port. We have a USB 3.1 to USB-C, which goes into the back. So the back is USB-C. And we have the USB-C to USB connection as well. They also have included a very nice magnet. Um, and one of the main unique selling points about this product is that you can um, once you've stuck this on to whether it's your table um, so if uh, if let's say that was stuck on my table I could literally just keep that in place so when I'm inserting SD cards into the uh, the slots this thing doesn't push back you don't feel like you're pushing against it and it's slipping out of place and um, it's really firm it does a really good job and um, Hopefully I can sh give you an example. If you're like me and you use multiple cameras and SD cards, then this is definitely uh, something that's gonna be for you. If, if you need a fast workflow where you're gonna be transferring cards quick and um, you need to back them up again on a second occasion to another hard drive, this is something definitely for you. It's probably the most fastest way to transfer footage off your SD cards and put them onto drives. So let's have a look at some real life testing and see what kind of transfer speeds we're getting uh, with uh, transferring over footage to a hard drive and also to a SSD solid state disk drive. there you have it um, there's a few things that I want to point out number one the USB cable that it uh, that's included that it comes with um, it doesn't actually work with Windows for some reason I believe I may have a defective USB cable um, the one that was provided in the box but it works with the Mac um, OS uh, because I plugged it into my laptop which is a MacBook and it works perfectly with that however with the um, with my windows machines it doesn't seem to work so i swapped it out it was really straightforward i just used another usb-c cable wasn't a problem um so that was one number two um the magnet feature is really 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 interesting it's really useful and it just gives you that extra satisfaction when you push the memory card in whilst you guys are here this is a, uh, a sd card reader as well which is Thunderbolt 3 compatible. So it reads up to six SD cards at a time and um, it costs a lot of money, 140, no, 180 pounds. And um, sadly, um, just to, uh, you know what, I'm gonna save that for another video. So to transfer over four, 128 gigabyte SD cards it may just take about 10 to 15 minutes to transfer all four of them simultaneously and that's amazing um, 
because I usually uh, take I usually run two backups of um, footage that I've recorded one I will run just before I go to bed so once I've come back from the uh, the job I'll, I'll, I'll transfer all the cards and then when I wake up the next morning I'll transfer the rest of the cards um, again and that process in the morning where I'm just really productive and um, I've had my coffee and I'm ready to go I just want to get things moving really fast bish bash bosh uh, no time wasting uh, and none of that and for me that really does uh, set this apart from other SD card readers because workflow is very important um, yeah I'm quite impatient when it comes to that and I do I do need I do need everything to be fast when it's being backed up so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Watch out for some other videos that I'm going to be pushing out in the future. Um, like I said, that six bay SD card reader, I'm going to be reviewing that. I'm going to be reviewing some faster SD cards as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is this something that's going to be suiting your workflow? Do you find this review helpful? What kind of projects are you going to be using this for? Um, are you going to be using this for like, uh, maybe multiple camera setups where you're having so many SD cards to transfer over at time. Um, let me know, I'll be uh, really interested to see. Is there anything faster out there in the market that I don't know about because I've been researching this, um, this workflow for a while. Um, so yeah, if you know anything else that's out there, I think it's gonna future-proof some of us um, in the future when we're using faster cards for cameras that are more data hungry. Um, and that I'm going to be more demanding. So that card reader is going to come in really handy in the future. All right, guys, I'm out. See you in the next video.